Right, so this is my review of this little White Knight uh, green tumble dryer. The greenest tumble dryer I've ever seen. Literally. Uh, model number CL311-1GV. Uh, uh, Obviously, GB for the green. And there's also a blue and a yellow variant. <clears throat> uh, quite a basic dryer. This has a single uh, rotational tumble and at the top we've got, well, I'll just show you, there's not much to say. We've got a 120 minute timer, uh, which is an egg timer, so we'll click there, for now we're going to cool down, off, and then two heats, that's high heat, flip it to the other side, we've got half heat, or low heat. Over here we've got the timings for a full load. So we've got the cotton dry, three kilo. Cotton takes 70 to 100 minutes. Uh, cotton damp dry takes 55 to 90 minutes. Uh, synthetics half load, or half dry is 25 to 45 minutes. Uh, linens, 70 to 100 minutes, same. And polyester cotton, uh, really for a half load well full heat, uh, 25 to 45 minutes. Though those timings they were a bit weird because the CL312, uh, their timings is more like 90 minutes. Uh, no, 120 minutes. Longer. Even though it's exactly the same heater. Don't know why, it's a bit weird. It, apart from a little wipe down to get dust off, it actually has come to me this clean condition. There's a little tiny scratch, but other than that, um, it's damage-free, near enough. There's no buckle on top, because people often put stuff on top and then it will buckle and crack the side here. In this case it hasn't, um, and so I've paid a pretty, well, I've just paid more than what I should have really, but I wanted it to go with our multicolored washing machine, I'll see as Harley Quinn. And I intend to get the blue and the yellow as well, just to make a nice pretty set. Um, well that's it really. Um, right, the story is that this is sold basically, the chap's father passed away. So basically, it's been uh, in his dad's hands for since new, and it was only him that ever used it. But apparently the neighbour also uh, helped out looking after his dad. And she said that basically he wouldn't use it unless he absolutely needed to. Um, and then she apparently used it once or twice as well. So she knew it was working. She dealt with me um, because the son, the son of the father had actually gone on holiday. So great. I, and I've got it back, and you're going to see it running. So we haven't got a vent hose. That's pretty standard with these. Um, they're optional actually. So we're going to open it up. Um, load up with these red sheets. We're going to set this round for 50 minutes on high heat.
questa volta Last Petal is dry and pretty crease free and yeah so do you need to cycle you need to go into our filter which is down here it's not the perfect design because it seems to when you pull it out fluff does fall off it sometimes I would just have here We'll give this out of 10. 8 out of 10. It's. There's a problem with buying a green dryer. It's the parts. Uh, you're either not going to be able to get a hold of them, or if you do, uh, they're going to be expensive because unfortunately they charge more for uh, more exact, extravagant colours. Um, it's well known that black costs more than silver, and silver costs more than white. Um, I, I, I love it as uh, a green dryer because it is green and it is different so um, and it's just as good as the CL312 uh, that I had um, which I still have, it's up for sale um, but uh, it's not that good as well oh what I do like is the fact that this has a natural door latch uh, a strong latch on this uh, rather than on the CL312 which is just that you push it and pull it um, so that makes um, it should last a little bit longer but these door latches still end up breaking after a while that's the only downside is fire is plastic and it does break um, and that's white knight's downfall but other than that it's a great drive actually for money even back then 